Colors in movies don't just have to be about visuals, they can be the story. Take Life of Pi, what's it about? Pi is a child who has been exposed to different religions and struggles to find his own path. None of us knows God until someone introduces us. According to Pi's father, Religion is darkness. In Life of Pi, black signifies despair, sadness, everything that makes you question faith or reject faith. Faith clearly isn't about science or logic. Science can teach us more about what is out there, but not what is in here. Now what's a small confused boy to do? Pai's own name is a liability. He's born a Hindu. I was first introduced to God as a Hindu. In the scenes representing Hinduism early on in the film, the visuals are bathed in orange. Saffron, actually. Then his brother dares him to visit the local church, where he is surrounded by white and blue. And finally, he visits the local mosque, also white. Maybe Ang Lee's production team couldn't find a green one, because green is the fourth color in the Life of Pi story. Incidentally, but definitely not by coincidence, these four colors are also the colors of the Indian flag. Life of Pi is based on Jan Martel's Booker-winning novel. However, in the book, this color scheme isn't mentioned at all. Early in the novel, Pai describes the vibrant colors of the animals and the zoo. Throughout his journey at sea, Pai frequently describes the changing colors of the ocean and the sky. The mysterious floating island Pai encounters is depicted with rich, unusual colors. Pai often describes the colors of sunsets and sunrises, using them to mark the passage of time and to reflect his emotional state. The color story of Life of Pai, the film, is definitely Ang Lee's interpretation. Early in the film, Pai is exposed to all colors, thus all religions, and he hasn't found himself yet. The color that book ends everything is brown, the color representing the adult Pai as well as his youth, his family life. Any memory warm and nostalgic is layered in brown tones. Once the ship sinks, Pai is thrust into black. It's a terrible tragedy, and from then on, it is a deadly race for survival. It had to be for Pai to find his faith. He starts in a boat with the two colors that embodies the two fates he identifies with. Catholic Hindus do. Catholic Hindus? When the horror is over, the morning brings another kind of suspense and terror. It's another test that Pai has to survive. The first big change is saffron or orange. You'll notice the colors are presented in the same order as earlier in the story, and in the same order as the colors in the Indian flag. Saffron or orange is self-realization, acceptance, the beginning of his faith. Saffron is also about Pai confronting many gods and finding one. When the Saffron chapter of the film ends, Pai is left on the boat with Richard Parker, the tiger. The movie then brings blue seas and skies during this phase. Now that the storm is over, he has to contend with surviving the tiger. First he tries to tame it, but that fails. He has to find ways to eat without being eaten himself. Blue is about coexistence. It is about faith in the tiger. Pai decides he is going to adopt a strategy of inclusion. He loves the tiger, it's the only surviving thing from his past and his family. During periods of blackness, a blue whale arrives, and breathtaking blue bioluminescence. Blue is about the splendor of faith, and Pai has to believe in its infinite power and beauty. Not just for himself, but for all living things. Towards the end of the blue phase, Pai succeeds in finding peace with the tiger. And when the white or gray phase begins, they're in this hell together like brothers. White is about suffering together, just as Jesus suffered for man's sins. And his suffering. That made no sense. They suffer, but they're both determined to survive, just as faith must survive the most troubling times. There are periods of black night, but the despair doesn't last because they make it through this period by just not giving up. Then they land on a green island. The island is a death trap. But this period is about Pai and the tiger working as a team. It's about sharing a faith together. It's also about temptation. Islam eschews temptation. And green is the color most associated with Islam. Both Pai and the tiger must give up the peaceful bliss and temptation of the island because their faith must move on. They succeed in this and immediately after that Pai is rewarded with dry land. The tiger leaves Pai they don't need to be together physically anymore. They're spiritually bound forever. And that's not the whole color story. A story that won't make us look like fools. We need a simpler story. Early in the film, Pai's uncle talks about swimming in a pool in Paris. Later, Pai swims in a slightly bigger pool and changes forever. The pool can represent the French Revolution and the march to democracy. 
India was brought under the East India Company sometime between 1757 and 1765. 1765 also marks the beginning of the American Revolution, and 1789 marks the beginning of the French Revolution. Life of Pi can also be a story of India's struggle for independence. The earlier rulers, the Mughals, kings, and the British leave the boat prior to independence. India has to find its own path. India is a country with many religions, which is why the Indian flag has colors directly representing the colors of religious identity. The blue is from the Ashoka Chakra, which is based on the Dharma Chakra from Buddhism. Just like how these religions have learned to coexist, Pai and the tiger must coexist and find a common ground together. Their fates are polar opposites sometimes, but life doesn't care. The rain pours down on everyone equally. So. One can either accept the position that the religious complexity in India is bleak or that a synergy is possible, one that benefits all. In one way, Richard Parker leaving Pai can also be interpreted as the partition of India, brothers torn apart on religious grounds. India is finally free on its own. This is the complex color story of life of Pai, where the colors are critical symbolic elements that are inextricably tied to the story and its themes in more ways than one. Thank you for watching. Now watch another video.